Hey, welcome to Slay the Spire. Today we're playing the Daily Challenge for October 14th, 2024. The character The Watcher and the Modifier Size Sealed deck craft a deck from 30 random cards. Order, one of it, add a card to a deck, add two additional copies. You can no longer remove cards from your deck at the Merchant. And Midas, enemies drop 200% more gold, but you can no longer smith the rest sites. That should be an interesting combination. I'm also very happy to be back. It's, uh, honestly, I have I have missed uh, recording daily. So, uh, yeah, I'm glad to be back. And this is a great combination of modifiers. I see Vorpal here with an amazing 1958. That's a really good score. Uh, Ichu with 1835 and Steve with 1835 as well actually a lot of people tell yeah a lot of people tied with 1835 let's see how well i can do so with the sealed deck every copy or every card i i'll take here i'll get two copies of or three copies of right so i should try to go for collective bonuses i'd see two talk to the hands which is pretty good to start off with i don't see a way to enter either wrath or calm right so actually no there's fear no evil let's take that and Tranquility, but let me think about Tranquility for a second. I think I'll take the Flurry of Blows. I think in this type of deck, Flurry of Blows will be great. I just need to figure out a way to, um, you know, switch stances. Um, do I want to take a Windmill Strike to try, get a, to try to get Overkill early on? No, let's take the Protect for sure. i take two Windmill Strike. That might be a little too much, though. Um, Cutthroat Fade might be really good. Let's take... Did I have two follow-ups? I saw one. Was there another one? Yes. Okay. Collector bonus on that as well. And then I only have one card left. I am a little low on block. I only have the Protects and Talk to the Hand, I guess. I wonder if I should take the Sea of Reality. Car of Reality would also be a good option, but I think the Sea of Reality might be a little better. Let's take the Sea of Reality. All right. So defensively, I just have the Protects and the Talk to the Hand. And the rest of is offense. And because I have so many Flurry Blows, I really desperately need a way to enter Wrath. All right. Oof. Only, uh, well... Multiple two lead paths, they will all merge at this point. If I get to this point from the left, I'll get one, two, three, three question mark rooms. In the middle, I'll get four question mark rooms. Uh, five, actually, all right. And on the right side, I'd get fewer than that. So I'll go in the middle, I'll get five question mark rooms. That should also help me get the Mystery Machine modifier. All right, let's start off with all the attacks here. Okay, I definitely need a way to enter Wrath. It would make my life so much easier if I had a way to enter Wrath here. Actually, I can just kill here, right? Good. An Ancient Persian Crescendo. Yep, yep. Have to take this. I think this will be very valuable. And then here I lose HP for gold. And here, um, yeah, I think I'll sacrifice 40 gold to grab a Fruit Juice Push and drink it right away. And then grab a Strength and Regen Push. And I probably won't need a Regen Push in that badly, but it's good to have something there. All right, so here I could do to see realities, I guess. Let me do... F How do I do this? I do want to do the crescendo at the end. Is that right? Let's do another fear no evil. Then do crescendo. And then deceive reality. And another deceive reality. And then a safety. Yeah, that way I'll be fully defended. And I'll be in wrath. So I should be able to deal enough damage here. Uh, yep. Good. Okay, that was easy. Once I'm in wrath, of course. Cut through fate, protect their fasting. Let me sort of do Z. I forgot. I didn't take a full set of protects yet, right? So I might need one of those. Cut through fate might be slightly better. Um, I should also have checked. I do have the um, guardian at the end, so maybe having taken the protect might have been a better idea. Remove transform or upgrade. I probably should transform. I don't think there's anything that I urgently need to get upgraded, right? Yeah, let's transform. What would I transform, though? Probably something I don't need five copies of. Yeah, I don't think I need five copies of the follow-up. Um, all right, Wave the Hand is not too bad with the Talk to the End. That can at least apply a lot of turns of weakness. All right, here, once again, I can play everything. And I got a Safety in my hand, which might be useful. 14 incoming. I can do two more Talk to the Hands, follow-ups, and I don't even need the Safety. Wow, all right. Yeah, I have six block return. Let's make that eight. Should I do Wave the Hand? Um might be tempting let's do wave the hand then talk to the hand there's it down to six but i only have i wonder if i should play another defensive card i mean i'm fully defended so i don't think i need to i'd love to use the crescendo there all right i think here i'll do crescendo then miracle talk to the hand flurry of blows follow up and that's enough to kill beautiful got blood vial at the savage combat heal two hp prostrate crescendo sense of time as much as i like sense of time i think i'll get grab a collector most on the crescendo okay Got the Jawworm here. Let's do Fear No Evil. Play the follow-ups. Cut through Fate. That's another Cut through Fate coming up. Okay. And, uh, yeah, another follow-up is enough to kill here. Beautiful. All right. We got a Power Potion. You know what? I probably don't really need the Regen Potion. Let's take the Power Potion here. Just like a Perseverance Prostrate. Let's take the Perseverance as a solid defensive card. 
And then here, I think I'll go on the right to get three more question mark rooms uh, before the next elite. Okay. Right, slaver. Try to wave the hand. I barely apply any weakness, but let's still do it. Flurry of blows, follow up, cut through fate. Um, I think I'll do another follow up here, and then I can do perseverance. That allows me with the weakness to be fully defended. Okay. And then I think I'll do crescendo because then I should be able to play the flurry of blows and kill with the uh, cut through fate. Okay. All right, brilliant third eye pressure points. There's no reason not to go for rare cards. I might be able to get a collector bonus. I do like third eye. Uh, let's take the Brilliant, so yeah. Uh, it, it's a good attack card. Yeah, we got Damara at the start of the turn, get one mantra. That actually makes the Brilliance much more powerful, so I'm glad I got that. Ancient T said, one of you enter a rest size, start the next column with two extra energy. Okay. And then here I got the Mushrooms, the Fungi Beasts. Um, here, let's do Talk to the Hands, Flurry of Blows, and Follow Up. Okay. And so this one is easily killed. Backland is not attacking me. That's great. Let's do Flurry of Blows, Follow Up. I could have done Wave the Hand. I guess not too late to do that now. Actually, well, hopefully I'll be able to kill next turn. Um, okay, let's do Crescendo. And yeah, that should be enough. Beautiful. All right, Wallop is pretty good. Yeah, let's definitely take the Wallop. That should help me against the upcoming boss as well. We've got Sundial every three times to shuffle drop out. Again, two extra energy. Very difficult with a deck of 50 cards already. And then, uh, all right, make that 53. Um, I did get the Regrets as well as a bunch of gold. All right, sentries. I do have to be a little careful with block. I do have a protect here and a deceive reality that I would like to play both. Um, I don't think I can though. Uh, let's do this. Mm, let's do protect, and I think just to be safe, I will do deceive reality to keep a safety. Let's also do brilliance. I'm hoping that I can at least kill one of the sentries next turn. If not, I do have the safety, and I will need another block card because I will need to come up with 18 block. Let's start with. Um, hang on, how do I do this? Um, so I do have Crescendo and Fear No Evil, but not a lot of energy. So I think what I'll, I have to do is I have to do Crescendo, then Cut Through Fate. Uh, Flurry of Blows is great, but I hope I'll get it back later. All right, follow up, and then Fear... No, um, wait, I miscalculated. Because I have to do Fear No Evil, and I, play, I have to play a defensive card, which I can't do. I think I miscalculated horribly here, right? Because the best I can do is a Flurry of Blows, and I still will take 9 damage. Let me reload real quick, just because um, I, I think I just made a small miscalculation. I don't want to suffer because of that. Uh, so, it's turn 2. I still think, just to keep it uh, safe, I will still play it the same way, which is to do Protect the Sea of Reality. Maybe I'll save the Miracle. Maybe that's the key, because I don't really need to play an attack this turn. So, I think this this might be slightly better. Um, so here I will have the ability to play something else. Yeah, I think now that's enough, right? So if I do Crescendo now, then do Cut Through Fate. Should I grab Flurry of Blows? That might still be better. Yeah, and then do Follow Up. Flurry of Blows is not enough, so I have to do Fear No Evil in this way. Let's do, let's do Flurry of Blows on you, then Fear No Evil on you. Flurry of Blows again, and then Miracle Safety. Yeah, I think that's the right approach here, all right? It's not guaranteed that I'll be able to defend against 9 next turn either, though. I do have two Perseverances. That might be nice. Uh, let's do Cut Through Fate. Get rid of this. Okay, let's do Follow Up. And then play the uh, Perseverances. Okay. And then next turn I should be able to enter Wrath with the Crescendo. Uh, yeah, I can do Flurry of Blows, Crescendo. Then play another two Flurry of Blows here. One more here. Fear no evil, deceive reality. Might as well. I should have done the wave the hand first, of course. I think I should be able to deal enough damage. Yeah, yeah, all right. So I did reload, but I don't consider this one cheating because I was basically just fixing a miscounting uh, mistake. We got Strawberry up and pick up race from my by seven. And then Perseverance, Fear no evil, and Meditate. Meditate is interesting, but I should try to get a collect bonus on either the Perseverance or the Fear no evil. Because it's the Guardian coming up, I'll take the Perseverance. And then here I'm resting back to full HP. All right. Guardian. So, okay, this is a little risky, but I am considering doing Crescendo. I am happy that I start off with a Talk to the Hand. I don't want to deal too much damage, though, right? Um, let's do Flurry of Blows. I have a lot of energy, too. Let's do Flurry of Blows, Crescendo. Then Talk to the Hand for sure. Another Flurry of Blows. I think I'll wait, because I think I should be able to transform next turn. All right, and that's exactly what I wanted to, to see. Another Talk to the Hand. Let's do Talk to the Hand 1, Talk to the Hand 2. And then I can do Deceive Reality. So now each attack I play will give me back 6 block. Um, Alright, let's do Flurry of Blows first. Okay. 
then follow up. Um, I can't fully defend with the protect, right? Um, I think I'll do that. Let's do protect, and then I'll also play the save reality for another safety. Okay. 32. There's a wallop. That's really good. Should I do wave the hand? That will bring it down to, uh, what is that? A six times two. So I think it's going to be, tw not 12. It's going to be 14, I think, right? Uh, that should still be enough, right? So if I do... Wait, sorry, no, it's 16 goes down to 24, right, 24. Uh, so 8 plus 6 is not going to be enough, I'm worried. Uh, so yeah, let's just do wallop, okay, 21. Uh, wait, how do I miscalculate? Because this will be 33, I need 32. No, the safety is enough, right? Yeah, okay, good. My hand is getting full with all my retained cards, though. So. All right, lots of incoming here. Can I transform? Uh, let's do cut through fate. There's a brilliance with Damaro. That might be a lot of damage. Let's go with the perseverance. I don't think I need that. Yeah, that's 34. That is enough to transform. I do want to get rid... You want... Let me play Crescendo. I do want to free up my hand a little bit. I have way too many retained cards. Okay. And I'm getting... I keep getting more. All right. Let, let me get rid of some of the Perseverances here. Um, I can do Perseverance 1, 2. That's 12. And then, yeah, 3. Okay. Okay. At least I will got rid of... I got rid of some cards. I'd consider drinking the Strength Potion here, too. Um, let me drink it now. Yeah. Let's do Talk to the End here. Flurry of Blows follow up. Okay. And then, um, should I do Cut Through Fate? I need 32 to 25. I mean, I have the Miracle. No, I think I think to be safe, it depends on what the Cut Through Fate would give me. But let's do Protect. And then I have to play the Safety, right? Yeah, let's do Safety. Okay. All right. Another 40. I could exit Wrath with the Fear No Evil. Let's do Cut Through Fate first. All right. I don't think I need the Flurry of Blows. Then do Follow Up. Fear no evil. Actually, can I just kill here? I'm not that far off from being able to. Yeah, especially with all the flurry of blows. And if I do crescendo, yeah, I can kill. Beautiful. All right, perfect. This one uh, didn't really need the strength potion, but it was nice to use. Wish omniscience brilliance. I could get a collect once on the brilliance, but I'll definitely take the omniscience. And then here, I don't necessarily need extra energy. Probably don't really need uh, to rest that rest sets either. Runic Pyramid is going to be a disaster, so let's not take that. Between these two, let's take the Coffee Dripper, gain energy at the start of return. You can no longer smith the red sites, or sorry, rest the rest sites. And with Midas, I can no longer smith the red sites, so I can't do anything at rest sites at the moment. All right, uh, one, two. Again, all the, all the path will merge at this elite. Up until that point, if I go on the left, I'll get one, two question mark rooms and two guaranteed shops. In the middle, I'll get also two question mark rooms and two shops. On the right, I'll get three question mark rooms and no shop. Ugh, is that extra shop worth it? I do have a lot of gold. I think I'll skip a question mark room to get extra gold. Is that right? Or to, to get an extra shop. Get two extra shops, too. Let me make sure I didn't miss a path. No, yeah, that's a problem. If I go on the right and I don't see a shop, and then like three, I don't have a path with a shop, I'll be sad. So I think I'll go on the left. Yeah, let's hit two shops. I think that might be more valuable. Usually in Midas runs, I have a habit of skipping shops, and that en ends up causing me a lot of harm. Uh, let's grab the follow-up here, and then I'll do protect. And unfortunately, the regrets do deal a lot of damage. And I can't rest at a rest site, so I have to be a little careful. But what should I omniscience? I could chain the omnisciences and I guess just do, I don't know, brilliances? Sure. Uh, here, let me do... Uh, yeah, let's do Miracle, Flurry of Blows, Crescendo, and then Omniscience, the uh, Brilliances. So Omniscience, the Omniscience is first, and then Omniscience, the Brilliances. That should be an easy kill. Okay. Beautiful. All right. Uh, foreign Influence, Sash from Consecrate. I don't have any of these. Let's take the Foreign Influence. That might be useful. And then here I got the Looter and the Mugger. Um, I think I'll do Wave of the Hand, Protect, and then Follow Up. That way I only take, well, 2 HP from the Regret, and then, sorry, 3, and then another 2 from the Mugger. All right, let's see what the foreign influence gives me. Beam cell, rip and tear, glass knife. Glass knife might be nice. Um, I don't think I'll do crescendo, though. Let's do a wave of the hand, deceive reality. Then glass knife, follow up one, follow up two. And I guess I can do safety to be fully defended. Mm -hmm. All right. Back Lanner is trying to escape. Uh, I think I have to do crescendo here. I didn't have a single flurry of blows out, blows out which is unfortunate. Probably don't need that many talk to the end. I would love a good attack card. Flurry of blows, talk to the hand, wave the hand, sure. Ugh, can I deal 41 damage? Um, yeah, I should be able to, yeah, especially since I'm in Wrath. Beautiful. 
All right, got my gold back. Uh, crescendo, empty body, pressure points. Did I? Yeah, I already had us collect most of the crescendos. I think empty body is not a bad way to get back some of the Thurio blows. And then here, I'm hoping to get overkill with a different way, and I can't get a collector bonus on this, so I think I'll just take the gold here. Okay. Also, it's going to be really hard to use them. Um, all right, so here, I guess I can omniscience. Uh, maybe I should omniscience one defensive card and then do the brilliances. Yeah, too bad I don't have a wish yet, right? Um, let's do the uh, one set of protects and then do the brilliances. Okay. All right, yeah, that's a good amount of damage and allows me to be fully defended. Mm -hmm. All right, so here let's do... I don't think I need to wave the hand. I mean, no reason not to. I have the energy to support it. And let's also play a protect to apply... Actually, well, one protect was not enough, right? It only applied weakness for the turn I wasn't being attacked. So that was not the best play there. Uh, let's do Crescendo here because I have the Flurry of Blows and I can exit Wrath with the Fear No Evil. Show have done the talk to the end first. Let's do Fear No Evil. Kill this one. And then let's do Crescendo to play more Flurry of Blows. And wait. Okay. And unfortunately, I am being attacked here, but I think that should be fine. Because um, I should be able to kill with the uh, Cut Through Fate. Should I try to get Combo or Overkill? No, no, I don't think I can get Overkill yet. And Combo I'll get once I have more omniscience. Got a Stance Shift Potion, Wave the Hand for a Collect Bonus. I guess I'll take it. Alright, and then here I got my first shop, Dolly's Mirror. I think it has to be on an, an, on an omniscience, right? Yeah, let's take Dolls Mirror and pick up, obtain an additional copy of a card in your deck. And that should be the Omniscience. All right, beautiful. And then I can also... These are expensive. Let me first focus on cards. Um, I think I'll take Third Eye. Did I have enough cut through Fates? I did, okay. Um, Windmill Strike, I guess. That might allow me to get overkill at 6 Simmering Fury. I'm a little hesitant with Fat Thing, but I do have the extra energy. Let's take it. I don't know about Gremlin Horn. Blue Candle is also interesting, but not super urgent. And I do have another shop coming up, right? So I don't want to spend all of my gold here. Let's take the Gremlin Horn when an enemy dies, gain energy and draw one card, and then just wait. I think if I had a Normality Curse, I would have considered a Blue Candle, but without it, I think I should be fine. All right, so here I have a bunch of Omniscience's. Um, I think I should try to kill, right? Yeah, let's do let's do Omniscience. Play all the Omniscience's. Okay. And then, um, so first I think I should enter Wrath um, with the Crescendo. Then I could do the Brilliances. And then should I do Wallop just in case? I'm not 100% sure if that'll be enough. I think it should be because every card is double played. But just to be safe, I'll play a Wallop as well. Oh, I have another card. You know what? Let's round it up with a Fear No Evil. Okay, never mind. The Brilliances were enough. Beautiful. All right, you got Pocket Watch. One of you play three or less cards during your turn. Draw three additional cards at the start of your next turn, which is great. And there is a Wish. Beautiful. Yeah, let's definitely take that. So now the goal is to get an Omniscience, and then Omniscience is a bunch of Wishes. Okay, and unfortunately I did draw one of the Wishes here already, which is a shame. But yeah, let's do the Omniscience chain, and then I'll do the Wish chain. And I think I'll enter Wrath. Uh, so let's do Wish 1, Wish 2. Then do the um, the Crescendo uh, right here. And then probably just try to do the Brilliances again. Do I have a better attack card? I could do Wallops. Um, no, I think I'll do the Brilliances. Okay. And then I have one more thing that I can use with the wallop. Where is it? Here. Okay. Uh, so that gives me, yeah, unfortunately only 100 gold because I didn't have the third wish there. All right. Okay. As long as I get the omniscience on turn one, we got a region push, which I'll skip. Flying sleeves, tantrum, wreath of flame. Definitely the tantrum. Yeah, that's super necessary. And then going this way for the next elite. Okay. Lantern is great. So I just come with additional energy. Let me think about the others for a second. Let's first grab... Did I have one on follow-up? I definitely don't have one on... Yeah, I have one on follow-up. I don't have one on the wallop, so let's grab a collector bonus on the wallop. Third Eye Perseverance. I don't think I had a collector bonus on the Perseverance either, right? Uh, nope, never mind. I had that already. Okay. So then let's grab Battle Him, and then... I don't know about Enlightenment. I probably don't need that. I think I can grab the Relics then. So Mercury Aglas at the start of your turn. Deal three damage to all enemies. I can't take the Prismatic Shard. I'm not going to do what David did a few days ago where it was a horde run with uh, with one character and he took Prismatic Shard. I think that's going to drop the number of collective bonuses. Um, I don't think I'll do Enlightenment either. I think I'll skip this one. I don't really need any of the potions either. Should I grab a Strength Potion or a Blessing of the Forge? Maybe. I don't think I need the Ancient Potion in that battle. Let's grab a Blessing of the Forge. All right. I'm actually glad I went to two shops. Got single, but adding cards into deck, you may raise them extra by two instead. That's probably not going to happen. Although, wait. I already got... Uh, 
12. How do I get 12? Oh, right. A strawberry and then five max HP. So I already got 12 max extra max HP. So I just need to reject cards two more times to get the extra 25 points. So, so we'll see. Maybe towards the end, if there's no chance to get another collector bonus for an influence. I was hoping. Oh, yeah. There's an AoE damage card there. Beautiful. Um, so let's do talk to the hand, doom and gloom follow up. Uh, you know what? I think I'll do crescendo. It's risky, but I think it's worth it. Then do follow up. And then battle him. Cut through fate. Uh, get rid of the regret. And I think I'll just play the windmill strike. I don't think I'll save it. Really hope I don't get attacked next turn. Although I also have the stance potion. So that should be fine. And again I drew the omniscience and wish on the same turn. That's a little unfortunate. Yeah fine. Alright. Um, so I think I'll do the omnisciences. And then the wishes. And then uh, the brilliance is just to deal damage. Okay. Beautiful. Oh I can do one more thing. I don't know. If you're not evil, why not. All right, so here I got another 100 gold. Okay. Oh, there's a counter here. Um, did I just get to 19? I should have played a few more cards. All right. Uh, bottle lightning. Uh, yes, I'm pick up to the skill. So I just come with this card in your hand. That definitely should be an omniscience. Okay, that makes my run much easier. I don't think I need a bottled miracle. And I already have enough follow-ups between these two. I guess I can take the bowling bash. All right, and then going right. Uh, ooh, Necronomicus would be amazing. I got Necromcom, beautiful. The first attack uh, played each turn got, that costs two or more is played twice. I'm pick up between a special curse. That's the uh, Necronomic curse, and that allows me to get the curse modifier as well. All right. And then, yeah, so here, um, should I try to not kill and try to get combo? Um, let me do one, two, three, four, five. Ooh, Hand of Greed is nice. Uh, but no, let's do, well, it doesn't matter. Let's do six, okay. Then play the Omnisciences. So 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Then definitely play the Wishes. Okay. And then um, something that doesn't kill. Uh, what if I just do the Foreign Influences? That might be good. Yeah, let's do the Foreign Influences. And then maybe I'll play something to deal damage at the end, like the Brilliance. Yes, yes, let's do that. I think that should be... Yeah, actually, that's plenty enough. All right, here I was worried I might not be able to get combo, but I already played 24 cards there. Um... And sure. And I got a hand of greed too. Wait, this is not enough. Hang on, let's do heavy blade first. Follow up. Uh, carnage. And then kill with the hand of greed. Awesome. All right, got a lot of gold. Wait, I got, uh, what was it? 25 plus 150, right? 175 gold. That's not too bad for one fight. Sash of Just Lucky Weave. I don't scry that much, but I might. Actually, I don't even need combo anymore, right? So yeah, at this point, I have to worry about overkill. Um, all right, so I got two omniscience's. That's uh, I might ruin my plans a little bit. Uh, let's do one omniscience for sure. Play the wishes. All right, and then I want to play some AOE damage cards. I don't actually have any AOE damage cards, huh? There's a tantrum. I remember having that. Uh, so maybe let's do that to enter wrath. And then I don't know. Play the brilliances, I guess. Hope it hits the right thing. Okay. All right, so here I got 150 gold. Then tantrum twice, brilliance twice. Okay. Um, let's do talk to the end. It only hit one of them, right? That's unfortunate. I'll do Simmering Fury, Third Eye. Um, get rid of this and this and this, actually. Okay. All right. Did play more than 20 cards again. 24. Okay, so here I'll double play the Wallop. All right. Then do Bowling Bash to kill the Backliner. And then Flurry Blows is enough with the Weave to kill this one. Good. All right, got a Dex Potion, which I think I'll skip Flying Sleep as an Evaluator Bowling Bash. I know I already have a Bowling Bash, so just for the sake of the Collector Bonus, I'll take another one. And then right here, I can't do anything again. Okay, 16 incoming. Uh, again, I got two Omnisciences. So that's unfortunate. Should be able to play both, if, especially if I do the Blessing of the Forge, right? So here's, I think, what I'll do. I'll drink the Blessing of the Forge. I'll do a Flurry of Blows. Protect this now enough. Good. And then I think I'll enter Wrath. And then I just have to make sure I, I uh, exit Wrath later on. So let's do the munitions. I don't think it'll be. I don't think I have enough to kill. All right. Um, so then I think I'll be greedy and wish for gold still. Okay. And I think I'll just do the uh, wallop twice. Actually, with the uh, Necromicon, it'll be played three times, right? I think. So that should be enough. And then uh, what other good attack card do I have? Should I do? I don't know. Cut through fate. I do have the energy follow up for more energy back. I do still have an admissions, right? So if I do follow up, it'll give me energy back. All right, let's take the gold here. Mm -hmm. All right, so there is the wallop. Played three times, all right? Fully defend there. 
and then follow up to give me energy back. And now I still have the omniscience. I think I should omniscience the talk to the hand. That might be good. Should I omniscience something like the um I'm a little worried about next turn? Yeah, just to be safe, let's omniscience the talk to the hand. Be great to get one of those upgraded. Alright. Okay, let's see if this does anything. Um 24 incoming. I do have fear no evil, that's really good. Um let's do follow up first. Can't transform yet, right? So if I do Fear No Evil, I should be fine, more or less. Should I do Fasting? Let's definitely... Do, wait, if I do Fear No... I think I'll do Windmill Strike. Oh, right, that's play twice. Then do Fear No Evil. Okay, so that way I'm fully defended. And a Flurry of Blows. And I guess I'll wait. I guess I didn't play the Fasting. Okay. Luckily, I'm not being attacked here. I try to transform. I think I should, right? Yeah, let's double play the Wallop. Okay. I'll just do another wall up, right? Oh, I'm a little worried. Okay, at least next turn I'll draw out a lot of cards with Pocket Watch. I also still have the Power Potion. Mm, Wave the Hand is useless here. Let's do Flurry of Blows. Then Crescendo. Okay. Cut through Fate. Get rid of these two. Um, then another Cut through Fate. I think I'll grab the battle him and then try to play the talk to the next turn. That might be a problem. Battle him. Third eye. Uh, no, I think I might need more block. Let's get rid of these two. I might need block next turn. Uh, and then do empty body to play two more flurry of blows. Ah, uh, this is... I'm really worried here. I do have some good defensive cards, but will that be enough? Okay, so I am not vulnerable, luckily. So still, uh, still 36 incoming, though. All right, let's do weave. Then Fear No Evil. Okay. Play the Flurry of Blows. Um, then... How do I do this? So let's do Third Eye. Get rid of all three of these. Okay. Do Weave again. Another Third Eye. Alright. Uh, the Wallop will be great next turn if I can perfect until then. And then I think I have to do Perseverance 33... And I do need to play the Protect. But that's fine. I am at least able to fully defend here. Okay. And uh, luckily I'm not being attacked. Okay, I think that should be good. I can do Simmering Fury. Uh, let's do that. Double play the Wallop. And then I'll get rid of one of the Perseverances because I should be able with Wrath kill with the Smites next turn, right? Alright, yeah. Okay, I got a little lucky. I drew the right things in the right turns, uh, which was very useful. Alright, perfect this one. We got an Essence of Steel Potion, Omniscience numbers, uh, what is it, 679? No, I think I'll take the Collector Bonus on the Wish. And then here, Tiny House is interesting. I don't think I need Empty Cage or Slaver's Collar. I have extra energy already. Let's take the Tiny House and pick up between one potion, gain 50 gold, trace your max by five, which actually gets me 25 extra points. Obtain one card and upgrade one random card. Got a Tantrum upgrade, a Swift Potion, and Flying Sleeves like Water or Halt. I don't think I have any of these. Let's take the Flying Sleeves. Not a bad idea to have. Alright, time it at the end, which does make my omniscient strategy a little worrisome, although I can just omniscient a bunch of plate arm with the wish, right? Uh, was there a three lead path? Yes, there's a three lead path on the right. Alright, um, that will give me an early shop, and then one, two, three, four, five crush microns. Unfortunately, not enough to get the Mr. Machine modifier, but, um, you know, that early shop hopefully will be useful. I also have a lot of gold. Okay. Alright, um, I think I'll do crescendo, then omniscience. Alright. Okay, I just got 300 gold out of that. Uh, didn't deal a single point of damage, but um, I guess that's what you get for uh, dealing that much uh, or getting that much gold. All right, let's start off with Flurry of Blows, Cut Through Fate. Um, I can do another Cut Through Fate, why not? And then I can get a Talk to the Hand, why not? Um, I do want to do Fear No Evil at some point too. Let's do Talk to the Hand. I think I'll do Miracle, Brilliance, and then Fear No Evil. And then I can do Flurry of Blows and Flying Sleeves. Or let's do, let's do the Perseverance to prevent at least some damage from being taken here. Okay. Alright, and then I still am lacking UE damage cards, which is unfortunate. Let me see if I can grab another way. Oh, beautiful. Two extra ways to enter Wrath. So, uh, let's do Tantrum, then Cut Through Fate. Actually, Flurry of Blows is not enough. Let's do Cut Through Fate here. Another Tantrum, alright. Double play the Wallop, and then follow up for a kill. Beautiful. Alright, third end Ignition Carp Reality. I had a, th a one set of third eyes, right? Um, no, I had two sets already. All right, let's skip that. And then between Carvial and Indignation, let's take the Indignation. At some point, I also have to get Overkill. Omniscience, I don't want to lose that. Battle him. I actually only have five copies of it, right? Although, I mean, 
I'm probably okay losing the battle him. I don't think I need that many. All right, here. Preserved insects is great. Enemies in elite combat have 25% less HP. Meal ticket, one of the enter shop, heal 15 HP. And then frozen eye, when viewing drop, all the cards are now shown in order. Okay. Uh, let's grab... I already... Did I? I already had enough flurry of blows, right? I don't think I need more. Uh, let's grab the conclude, foreign influence, evaluate, study. Dark shackles is pretty good. I don't think I need any of the potions. Might as well take the flurry of blows. Why not? Do I want to do mayhem? No, nah, it's probably not necessary. I actually really hope I still will get a shop in a question mark room. All right, here, Mind Blast would be great. Um, Hand of Greed is fine. No Mind Blast. All right, um, can I get a Collect Bonus in a Jack of All Trades? What was here? Yeah, no, nothing with the Collect Bonus. All right, let's grab the Hand of Greed here. Here, honestly, I don't know. I guess I can do Blind, sure. And then here, let's do the Panic Button. I was offered an Enlightenment in a shop, so if I had taken that, I would have been able to get a Collect Bonus there. But I didn't. Um, how many Question Mark Rooms do I still have coming up? Uh, just two, right? Uh, all right. Well, there's a small chance one of those will be a shop. Um, I do have a conclude here. Uh, should I do something with Hand of Greed too? Let me see what this gives me. Thunderclap, sure. Okay. All right. Let's do the Omniscience and uh, Wish combination. All right. Another 300 gold. So here, I think I'll do Bowling Bash and then Miracle Conclude. I have to be careful not to lose a lot of HP. These enemies might deal a lot of damage. So I can't just go uh, losing HP all the all the time. Let's do Crescendo here, then double play the Wallop. Okay. Uh, kill this one with the follow-up. Allows me to also be fully defended. And then I can also do a talk to the hand. Okay. Mm -hmm. 32. I'll do another talk to the hand. Let's see what the foreign influence gives me. Sunder with... Yeah, double damage is enough to kill. Beautiful. And Mango, pick up race to make sure we buy 14. Uh, wait, that already gives me enough to get the stuff modifier. Awesome. As well as the fruit juice potion, which I don't really need because I already got the stuff. But you know what? Just to be safe, I probably don't need the sweat potion. Let's drink it right away. And then Perseverance, Battle Him, and Flying Sleeves. I think I need one set of each other than the Perseverance, right? So let's take the uh, Battle Him, I guess. Sure. Okay. All right, here I got the Remptomancer. I don't think I'll be too greedy here. I think I'll try to um, kill somehow. Uh, let's do the free clothesline. Um, actually, I think I'll think i I'll do... Here, let's do Fear No Evil, then Crescendo. Okay. And then do Clothesline. And then, uh, yeah, let's do the Omnisciences. I still think I'll Omnisciences a bunch of Wish, but what should I do at the end? Um, don't have AoE damage, right? Maybe one of the Wishes. You know what? I think I'll skip... I'll skip two of the Wishes, because one is in my hand, right? So then let's do... Uh, what is this? A lot of damage bowling bash might be good here or cut through fate let's do the cut through fate here and then um do i want to do something that double plays like the wallop uh oh i don't really need the block might be better to keep the wallop in my hand so let's grab something else like uh, not the conclude let's uh, how about hand of greed okay so then here i'll still get uh 100 150 100 yeah 200 i still get 200 gold and here i grab another cut through fate. yeah i think that's that, that was good Another cut through fate, okay. Alright, and then Hand of Greed is played twice. Okay, good. Alright, and then this gives me a streamline, which does more damage. Okay. I could do another wish. Um you know what? Let's wish for gold here, and then I'll do cut through fate, and I feel pretty confident that I should be able to deal 16 damage next turn. Did I play 32 cards? Alright, I might have played 32 cards there. Beautiful. Okay, you got Horn Cleat that deserves your second turn, gain 14 block. Bowling Bash, Lesson Learned, Rushdown. I don't think I need Lesson Learned, and I already have enough Bowling Bashes. Well, I also don't really need Rushdown. Let's take the Lesson Learned after all. Okay. Alright, Spiker. Should I do something with the Repulsor? I'm trying to think. If I omniscience a bunch of studies, that might be something. Um, I have one study here. Uh, here, let's start with the omniscience first. I'll definitely omniscience the Wishes. I'm trying to think... Yeah, you know what? Let's omniscience. No, uh, the deck is too large. Wait, never mind. I already got combos. So I don't really need to do that. Here, let's just do all the wishes. Okay. All right, so that was all the wishes. Let's also double play the wallop. Uh, deal a little bit of damage here. All right, and then I can also do a flurry of blows. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yep, 27 cards. That It's not going to make it easier to finish on time, huh? Let's do wave the hand for an influence. Cold snap, barrage, cleavage. I think I'll take the cleave. Uh, I said cleavage. I mean cleave. Uh, let's do cut through fate here. Flurry of blows is fine. Um, I will play a cleave. And then I can do one flurry of blows you without taking damage and one on you. Come. Okay. Alright. Okay, let's, we'll kill the backline in two turns. Uh, oh, there's hand of greed. That's really tempting. 
Uh, well, if I do Tantrum, I will sacrifice 5 HP uh, to gain extra gold from this guy. And then another uh, 5 H or 7 HP to get gold from this guy. Fine. All right. With the Hand Prostrate, uh, Consecrate. I never got a Collect once on the... Nope, never mind. I did get a Collect once on with the Hand. So between Prostrate and Consecrate, let's grab the Consecrate, I guess. I am lacking AoE damage, so that might be, uh, albeit weak, but some AoE damage after all. All right, 30 incoming. I have to be careful, uh, but you know what? Let's uh, be greedy first. All right, so here, let's do Flurry of Lust, Bowling Bash. I, I am realizing there's no real reason for me to be greedy because I already definitely passed the 3,000 gold threshold, right? So unless one of these question mark rooms is a shop, I really don't need to be greedy. All right, um, here, I'll do Dark Shackles for an influence. Gives me sense of time. All right. And then another for an influence for a rebound. I don't think I need to rebound anything. Let's do Body Slam here. And then, yeah, unfortunately, the Regret does deal some damage. I really hope I get a shop just so I can heal with the meal ticket. Because the Regrets are starting to get a little annoying. Um, I don't think I'll enter Crescendo here. I'll enter Wrath, because I think they'll deal end up dealing too much damage back to me. Let's do Evaluate and Safety. Ooh, see, already taking 17 damage. I'm starting to get really worried here. 56. Uh, okay, I do have a Panic Button, although I would like to avoid using that if I can. Don't need too fast things there. All right, another Flurry of Blows, Bowling Bash, and that is still not enough. I mean, I have to risk it. Let's do Panic Button and hope that next turn I have enough to, um, well, I have enough damage to deal. Um, yeah, not really, right? I have Indignation. I have the Tantrum. That's still 80 incoming. That is so much incoming. Did I have a Weave? I didn't. I have to reload. I'm, I'm basically just dead here. I think I went a little too crazy with the wishes. Yeah, I got too greedy. And as I was getting the 300 gold, I, I realized I already definitely passed the 3,000 gold threshold, right? So there's really no reason for me to. Let me play it a little safe. Um, how about I do here? Let's do let's do the omnisciences. But then this time, instead of omniscience, all the wishes. I'll omniscience a few wishes for gold, a few for strength. And then I think I'll also grab a, a battle hymn just to get a few. Um, here, let's do one battle hymn. And then one hand of greed. Yeah, I think that's much safer. So let me grab a little bit of strength. Not much. Yeah, six is fine. And then, yeah, yeah. I, I can't believe I have to reload this one to survive. That will have to go in the thumbnail, unfortunately. All right. Okay. And then I can do the secret reality for the safety. All right. Mm -hmm. So with the extra strength, hopefully this should be easier. Let's play smite one, smite two. For an influence, uh, still get the sense of time. All right. And then still play these uh, rebound. And um, I'll do Dark Shackles just so, to avoid damage from the Urugat. Mm -hmm. All right, another 46. Here I can now do Crescendo because I have the um, Smites. Actually, I don't even need to play the Smite. Okay. And then, yeah, because of the Battle Hymn, things are much easier. I can actually use this to get gold. All right. Uh, did I mess up again? No, no. Okay, the Smites are enough. Phew. The extra strength definitely helped me there. And then last turn, I can just do another wish. Uh, no, 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 let's play it safe. Wait, wait, no, no, I have to play it safe. All right, <laughs> I can't play another wish. That's fine. Okay. All right, yeah, I don't need to be super greedy anymore. We got a fear potion, follow up, uh, wreath of flame, meditate. I did get a follow up early on, right? Uh, yeah, so then between wreath of flame, meditate, med meditate might be nice. Let's grab that. And here I got strike dummy cards containing strike deal three additional damage. Okay. And then, right, I can't do anything here. Okay, I did get another shop. Okay, that's awesome. That shovel you cannot dig for relics at rest sites. Okay, because your first attack each combat does additional damage, and then hand drill one of you break an enemy's block, apply two vulnerable. I can also grab a collect bonus on this. This, I mean, I don't have these, but might as well grab them. Who knows? Maybe I will get a collect bonus. And then in terms of potions, I don't think I need any of these. Uh, maybe is the attack potion better than the fear potion? Maybe, maybe. Let's grab that. Okay. All right. Here I got the gen head. Ooh, I should try to get overkill here. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. I think that might be good. Um, how do I do that, though? I need to play a lot of cards, and then what's my best... Did I pick up a Sands of Time? I don't think so. So my best attack card at the moment... Um, is the Hand of Reed, I guess. It's not, that's not really enough. What if I do Indignation? Well, yeah, yeah, I think I have to try the Hand of Greed. I don't really have another choice. So, okay, um, I'm not going to be greedy. I am going to play first a few cards. Uh, let's do Evaluate, Deceive Reality, Consecrate, Miracle, Battle Him, and Safety. And then do the Omniscience Chain. Okay. 
What if I grab strength with the... Wait, first first let's make sure I have... I am in wrath and the enemy is vulnerable. So let's grab the... Um, the uh, crescendo. Then the indignation. Actually, I should have just played the indignation. That would apply vulnerability anyway, right? Alright, fine. And then let's do... I still have four more cards to play. Let's do something... Zero cost, I guess? I'm trying to think if there's anything better to do. No. Yeah, so I think I'll do some zero cost. How about I'll do something like... Um, here, talk to the end. Okay. That's not going to kill, right? And then let's do... Let's grab the wishes for strength. Okay. One more, and then the last card will be the hand of greed. Okay, I think that should be enough. All right, so um, I'm already dealing 200% more damage. This is with vulnerability and double damage, so that'll be 30, 16. I think that's 90, but just to be safe, I'll grab some strength here. Okay. All right, I don't know, but I think this should be more than 100. Oh, wow, that was 355. Okay, good. Yep, that was definitely more than 100, so I got overkill. We also got Nunchaku there. Um, every time we play 10, 10 attacks against our energy, with the hand Brilliance or Carve Reality, let's grab a Collector on the Brilliance. Okay. And then another shop. How lucky am I? All right. Let's grab Oddly Smooth Stone. Starch come with one dexterity. Dreamcatcher, one of you, rest you may add a card in two deck. And the medical kit, unplayable status card, can't really play. Whenever we play status card, exhausted. Um, and then grab all of these. And these, why not? And I don't think I need anything else here. Beautiful. Okay. I was actually really lucky with so much gold to have uh, two question mark rooms and two consecutive question mark rooms. Uh, sorry, two shops and two consecutive question mark rooms. All right, so here, let's start off with a cut through fate. Um, I don't know. Yeah, I guess I can grab the wallop. It'll be played twice, I guess. Okay. All right, gives me energy back. And then, yeah, let's do the omniscience chain. And here, yeah, again, I don't think I need to be greedy, so I think I'll just deal damage with... Um, let's play indignation and then do the hand of greed after playing a few wishes. We start with the indignation first. Okay. Then do the wishes. And then I'll wrap it up with the hand of greed. All right. Oh, that was not enough. Uh, hang on, I have to do a talk to the end, and that is enough to kill. Beautiful. Got Tear Drop Docket, Savage Combat and Calm, as well as an Attack Push, which I don't think I'll need. Tranquility, Perseverance, Collect. I think I already have enough Tranquilities. Uh, I just picked them up at the shop, right? No, I do not. All right, let's grab a uh, Collect on that. Okay. And then here I'll dig for uh, Fossil's Helix. That's amazing. Prevent the first time you lose HP each combat. That is a huge help. All right, so here I have to be careful. So I think I'll just have to get as much plate armor as possible. Let me count this real quick. So this is going to be one, uh, two, three, four, and then all the other cards will be double plate, right? So I think now I have to get the wishes. So five, uh, six, seven, I, oh no, did I mess up? Eight, and then here I'll get plated armor. Oh, yeah, no, it's not going to be enough. Hang on. So that's only 24. I messed up. I shouldn't have played an extra omniscience. Well, I guess that's why I have the Fossilized Helix for. No, I got 30. Wait, it played the fifth one? I'm confused. Anyway, I'm good. I'm good. Okay. 27. I wish I had played more wishes, though. I did exhaust all my omnisciences at this point, too, right? All right, let's do the bomb. Third eye. And uh, honestly, I don't have a good strategy on what to do here. Uh, let me see what the power potion gives me. Nirvana, battle him, rush down. Maybe battle him is the key here. Okay. Uh, how am I doing on time? 41 minutes. Okay, I think I should be fine. All right, another 27. There's another omniscience. Uh, what should I double play with that? I could do an ignition. Then I have the wallop. Let's try that. Um, I don't have any... Well, actually, I still have a wish. Yeah, fine. No, let's get more plated armor. Why not? Okay. All right, so that's 42 plated armor. That should be plenty. So then, should I just wait till I enter Wrath and I have a bunch of smites? That might be a right idea. Because I am fully defended. There's no way the Time Eater can deal more than 42 uh, damage. I mean, I could deal some damage with the Wallop. Uh, yeah, no, no. You know what? I'll just wait for uh, for when I'm uh, in Divinity. Alright, so now I'm in Divinity. So, uh, wow, this is a lot of damage. Let's do the uh, Kabika Flying Sleeves first. Uh, then do Smite 1, 2, uh, 3... Uh, yeah, this is the same mod, right? Four, five. Okay, this will force the transformation. Can I deal enough damage to kill next turn? That would be ideal. Uh, let me try that by doing the Flurry of Blows, then Crescendo. Um, then Smite. See what the attack potion gives me. 
We each have an empty fist. Ugh, a little risky here. I'm worried I don't have enough. Actually, I definitely don't have enough, right? Not that far off, unfortunately, but it's not quite enough. Uh, and next turn, I can only play five cards. Okay, I, I might have messed up. I do have the buffer. Hopefully, it's a one-hit attack. Yeah, it's 16 coming. All right, and then here, I can do something like... Um, I mean, Bowling Bash is not super useful. Let's just smite Swift Strike for an influence to get me a Meteor Strike, which is a lot of damage. Doesn't give me energy back, though. And then I think... Should I do Meditate? Um, what about I Meditate back? Uh, let's... Yeah, let's definitely do Meditate. I'm not sure what the... Yeah, how about Wallop? Okay. Yeah. And I'm still good on time. Okay. I think that's the right approach to enter... To wait for Divinity. Here, let's do Tantrum. Okay. Then double play the Wallop. Okay. Then Smite uh, for an influence gives me Mind Blast. That should be enough to kill. Beautiful. Awesome. All right. That was actually a pretty good run. I did have to reload that one fight to survive. But other than that, I think I did well. 2058. That's a really good score. I'm very happy with that. So if the seven elites affect all of them, I definitely got a lot of gold. Wow. Almost 5,000. It doesn't matter once you get more than 3,000, but I might have gotten a little overkill. It was kind of fun, though, to get a lot of shops at the end with the question mark rooms. I got 20 collector bonuses. I think that was pretty good. Yeah. Overkill combo was easy. I got all the bosses stuffed. Curses was... Uh, actually, curses would have not been necessarily easy because I only saw two sets of curses. So if one of them... if uh, the Necronomicon can be sometimes bad luck. You might not get it. If you don't get it, you miss 100 points there. Um, but yeah, I, I do think the Collect Bonus definitely helped me there. And I also got Light Speed. I'm a little surprised with all the omniscients I was able to get Light Speed there. I think I started off really fast. Yeah, very happy with the score. That's a great way to come back after a small break. Yeah, all right, awesome. I'm seventh place here. That's really good. And I wouldn't be surprised if everybody above me is using glitches because that's, uh, I mean, I can't really imagine to get a much higher score. Maybe with some luck and more collect bonuses. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if Vorpal just missed curses, just got unlucky. Or maybe just had, I had four more collect bonuses. Um, yeah, I did skip, uh, I did skip one question mark Romanac two to get an extra uh, shop. So that might have made a big difference there too. Yeah, very happy with the score. Um, yeah, and then actually today I'm not doing a recap because uh, there was a uh, unlisted video uh, that I used uh, that I uploaded yesterday where I did a recap from the last few days. Um, so you can check that out. I'll put it in the description and in the pinned comment as well. Um, so I'll just leave it here. Let me know in the comments what you did, how many collectibles you were able to get. I got 20, and then I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Bye.